Hello and welcome back to Surgery 101, the podcast series brought to you with the help of the Department of Surgery at the University of Alberta. This week we're bringing you another in our occasional series of episodes of presentations that were given at the recent Canadian Conference in Medical Education, which was held in Quebec City uh, here in Canada back in April. Um, you've already heard from a couple of our students, Krista Lai and uh, Kerry Wong, who talked about Facebook and Teachable Moments. And in this episode, you'll be hearing from Susan Chaudoir, um, who will be talking about a project called Ask the Surgeon, where we looked at what preclinical medical students wanted to know about surgeons and the practice of surgery. So, let's get ready to ask the surgeon something, here on Surgery 101. Hi, I'm Susan Chaudoir. I'm a doctoral candidate at the University of Alberta in the Faculty of Education. I'm going to talk to you today a bit about a study that is called Ask the Surgeon, What Do Preclinical Students Want to Know About Surgeons and the Practice of Surgery? The background of our study stems from recent concerns about the popularity of surgery as a career choice. Perhaps you or your colleagues have engaged in the discussions or have read the publications that discuss how or why students do or do not choose surgery as a specialty. Here is one such publication from colleagues at the University of Kansas who question whether medical students are even worth a surgeon's time. If they're not going to choose surgery as a medical career, should we even be spending time with them? Well, Dr. White and I actually disagree with these authors. And I hope as I share findings from our study, you'll see why we have a different perspective. Where did we start? Well, we started with this question. What do students want to know about surgeons and the practice of surgery? We were particularly interested in preclinical learning needs early in the medical student's education. This was an inductive study with no a priori hypothesis. We used a naturalistic in situ method and it was an opportunistic study with an annual 60 minute large group session called Introduction to Surgery. It was with 240 year one medical and dental students and this is an ongoing study and we are in our fifth year. And what I'm going to share with you today are findings from the first four years of our study from 2008 to 2011. Now here are our students in this large group session. At the start of the session we hand out a surgeon's cap and some masks and we ask the students to put them on. We really want to know, we want them to know what it really feels like. And so we distribute also index cards to each student. And at um, any time during the session, students can write down their own questions as the surgeon, who is pictured here in the lower left quadrant, talks about the practice of surgery. The students are told that there'll be a prize for the best questions. And the prize is actually a real surgeon's cap, like the one the surgeon is wearing in the photo. And the students really love this, love this prize. Uh, in fact, even if they don't win, they want to know where they can buy one. Um, so during the last 15 minutes of the session, we collect the cards from the students and the surgeon answers as many questions as he can in, as, answers as many questions as he can in this time frame. Um, we retained all these questions, we transcribed them verbatim with no identification, names, or gender. And we analyzed them to identify themes that students asked. And again, we had no a priori hypothesis in this. Hypothesis in this. Uh, in total, uh, we had 509 questions from approximately 960 students. And there were seven major themes that emerged from this data set, and I'm briefly going to go through each one of them with you. Uh, the first theme is called Life as a Surgeon. Uh, students asked specifically um, about the kinds of hours you kept, your family life, your personal life, uh, they ask questions about how much money you make, the prestige and privileges that come along with being a surgeon, and they wanted to know how do you manage your own work demands. Uh, the second uh, theme was called experiences in the old OR. They were very curious about the kinds of experiences that you have in the operating room. They asked questions such as, do you ever get used to all that blood? Uh, they asked about the physical demands that are placed on you, how you interact with the surgical team, the healthcare team, how you integrate music, humor, technology, and tools. Uh, Preclinical students wanted to know more about these kinds of things regarding the operating room. Um, the third theme is called memorable operations. Uh, 
students wanted to know about your very first surgery, the longest surgery, the most scary or bizarre or most exciting or coolest surgery. What was, what was the most difficult surgery you've ever done? How long did your longest operations take? What was your experience like during your first surgery in which you were the most responsible physician? I liked this question because it implies that they do regard surgeons as leaders. The fourth theme is called relationships with patients. Students were specifically interested in how you communicated with your patients and how you followed up with your patients after surgery. How do you comfort a patient who is nervous before a surgery? Students asked questions about how to communicate. Uh, how They wanted to know how you communicate with the patient's family members and loved ones as well. The fifth theme is called dealing with difficulty. Students undoubtedly will ask the death question. They want to know how is it that you handle death. How do you handle mistakes, fears, anxieties? And interestingly, students disclose to us that their own fears and disclose to us their own fears and their anxieties. And they ask, if I were interested in surgery, could I and had and yet had these fears and anxieties? Could I be a surgeon? How do I overcome these if I want to pursue surgery? And they also wanted to know how you deal with legal ramifications, complications, trauma, and of course, very difficult decisions. They certainly realize that you make very difficult decisions and they wanna know how you learn to make those kinds of difficult decisions. The sixth uh, major theme is called career choice and advice. Uh, students uh, wanted to know how you decided to become a surgeon. When did you decide uh, and why? What convinced you that surgery was right for you? Do you have any regrets? And are there any alternatives to surgery? Should I be concerned about age or gender? And are there any specific requirements that I should be looking into early in my education if I'm interested in becoming a surgeon? And lastly, the last theme is called residency. Students were interested in things like the competition for residency, the lifestyle of residents, such as the work hours, and the good aspects as well as the bad aspects of residency. They wanted to know more about the good things, not just the bad. Uh, as preclinical students, they were also asking questions about opportunities. One question asked, one student asked, are there, surgical, are there shadowing opportunities in years one and two? And if I wanted to shadow a resident in my first and second year, how can I go about that? They wanted to certainly know more about shadowing. So what did we learn? We certainly learned that students are asking more questions than we expected, and their questions are broader than just career choice. The major focus uh, was in the operating room and your experiences as a surgeon. We also learned the implications of their thinking, which is, can I even do this? Thank you very much, Dr. White, for sharing uh, how interesting, rewarding, and challenging that surgery can be. Uh, but right now, as a year one medical student, I'm wondering if I can even do this. And lastly, the implications of their learning at this stage is uh, that they want to know more. So in their preclinical years, they're interested in learning more about surgery. So what's next for us? Well, we're adapting these seven themes in the annual surgery session. Remember, this is just the first 60 minutes of being introduced to surgery. The students are obviously telling us they want to know more. So we're trying to build a student-centered learning pedagogy. And we believe that students are looking to make very informed decisions. And we want to move and develop our curriculum with their inquiry. So in closing, um, um, I return to the question, are students worth the surgeon's time? Well, we think so. Our findings are demonstrating that preclinical students are expressing specific learning needs and inquiry about surgeons and the practice of surgery and that those needs may be overlooked by those trying to influence career choice. Uh, Preclinical students are looking to make informed decisions, not just about career choice, but for personal, intellectual, and professional development for their future residency and independent practice as a physician. We're very happy to have you get in touch with us about our study, Ask the Surgeon. You can contact me at the email on the screen. Uh, show, it's my C-H-A-U-D-O-I-R at ualberta.ca. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Susan. So that's it for another episode of Surgery 101. Um, we're actually quite uh, interested in seeing where the study goes. Uh, I know I'm giving this talk again to the year one class in September. 
and uh, we'll actually be changing the, the session based on the results of this study. Um, so it's kind of using research and inquiry to inform curriculum. Um, as usual at this point in the podcast, we're very happy to hear your comments. So you can email Susan for if you have questions about uh, the study if you like, or you can just email us at surgerypodcast at gmail.com, or you can find us at surgery101.org. We'd also like you to join our Facebook group or find us on Twitter at surgery underscore 101, um, or rate us on the iTunes uh, store as well, rate our, our app or our podcasts. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you back here next week on Surgery 101.